So if you were like an aspiring research analyst today and you were advising a, a, a kid, well, you know, a younger adult what to do with his or her life and you would tell them not to go to research journalism, into to the research. I probably yeah, look for something else. Natural I mean, research. really, what, if, what, what if would you do? I don't know to be honest because I'm not a young person, and sometimes yeah. it's very hard to tell. Yeah. But if you look at careers, there's always this, uh, there are always these facts. Like you know, when I was uh, growing up, yeah, the big thing to be was chartered account. You know, be an accountant. To be a CA. To be a CA, exactly. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Then uh, in my uh, time was to be a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then in fact, uh, for a while, being an engineer was in the doldrums. That's right. Then you had oil and gas boom, and, and so that's now it's huge. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know? So sometimes it's it's really hard to figure out what's going to boom, and I think what's more important really is to figure out. Generally speaking, no matter how good or bad an industry is, there's always room for the guys who are good at it. Yeah. So the, the trick really then is not so much maybe, you know, which one is going to be a hot industry, but to find something that you are good at. And then, you know, probably at some phase in your life, that's going to be a hot industry. Right? Yeah. yeah. So how do you talk to your kids about this? Or I, I think your, your kids are still a bit too young. To talk with them, right? To, to, to yeah. talk to them about this kind of thing. I think yours and my kids are around about the same age, just below, at or below 10 years old, yeah, give yeah. or take, right? So, but I picture myself, I visualize myself talking to my kids about their career paths and what they're going to do with them, or at, or at, least, at least advising them in, in, in time to come. I envision myself doing that. So, how do you envision, if at all, you know, um, advising your kids on, on future career paths and what to do? I think firstly, it's not so much uh, advising them on career path, but rather what I'm doing now is laying the groundwork and encouraging them to explore. And explore, develop skills, and you don't have to decide what you want to do yet, but hopefully after you... Let us put it this way, okay? Um, from five, I thought I wanted to be an accountant. Yeah. And like three, four years later, okay, I don't want to be an accountant. Yeah. Okay, go in the merchant bank. Three, four years later, okay, I'm not going to do this. Could have become an yeah, analyst. things change all the time. Yeah, right? things change all the time. So the the thing is to you know, rather give them the kind of like uh, the uh, foundation. Rather, the key is to be always curious, I guess, yeah. and to be always curious in things, and to always be willing to strike a balance between you know you want to be comfortable and you want to be happy. Yeah. But I think to be really happy, you also always need to be stretching your comfort zone. <laughs> I'm a man, 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 I'm a